Hello and welcome to Red Resort Review, episode 22. And I guess I'm too close to the microphone, sorry if it's a bit loud. Um, this time we have a Triltron, the carrier sword of the season, which is huge as you can see. Uh, I will give him a spin and hope, don't knock everything, uh, anything or everything over. Um, last time we had Rescue Megazord um, and the uh, Turbo Garage as a little bonus. Um, we had uh, Starter's Turbo Megazord, which is, is disassembled here for uh, a reason. And also we had uh, the, the Robo Racer from the Red, uh, the Red Center, from the Blue Centurion, not the Red Centurion. God damn it. It, it's it's hot today. It's really hot. So my brain is a bit melting. But I wanted to finish the uh, sort of review. Um, the biggest, um, yeah, well, difference between Japan and our toys, as always, I guess, is the chromy part. Um, you can see when I stop at a certain point. Wait, you can see the top tires here. They have a silver chromy uh, feeling to it, but just the top two. The other ones need that as well. I will finish that up when I have a, a marker or a Gundam marker for that. Um, I wanted to fix up some certain parts which is like different. Um, also, it has uh, RBR, so that's the same as in Japan. So um, I, I don't actually know what, what that stands for. I guess for what was it? Victory Robo? I, uh, was it in Japan? In Car Ranger? And um, this thing is, as you can see, really huge. It's also heavy. It's hollow, but it's heavy. And um, let me turn this around because it's hard to do that on when it's on the back of the side. I hope it doesn't crash on me. Um, it doesn't matter if you take the rescue swords or the turbo swords. Uh, you can open up the flaps. There are five of those. I will de just demonstrate that with like them here you just open it up and you can put them in just like on the show yeah there he goes um, as you can see may, hardly can see there's one one turbo sword in there and you can do that with the other flaps here as well just let me see if I can close that yeah so if I do that on cam it's it's hard it's it's very hard to open this because it's tight as you can see, there are two spaces and the turntable is not a big enough for this. So, um, and you can see five and three. So you just put those in there here. Oh, that, that's the wrong one, I guess. Number five goes there, yeah. And number three, you go in here. Whenever I can see that, kind of. So slide them in, done, and close them. Um, basically the rescue zords are mainly in here. Uh, when the rangers um, first get the zords they um, disassemble. I, this is, I can show you the lower part I guess as well. Ah, God damn it. It's a big space roll. So where where does the two belong? The two belongs up front. So here. You have to flip that down or he won't fit. Similar deal with four. So you have them stored. So if you don't have enough space or don't want to display them, you can save some space up with this. Um, this guy has two modes. Put them aside for a second. Oh, God damn it. He's heavy. Um, so he also has these arms which can be attached and fold up. So you can do this. That's why I kept this guy around. Um, he has, uh, I don't know if it's the right, I guess the, the, the other cannon belongs in the, yeah, the cannon belongs in here, so you can slide that in. Basically, he holds this cannon, and this cannon has a similar deal, you can get that out. This is, I didn't show that in the last uh, Retro Resort review because I didn't have Altrilotron, I don't, I kind of find that wrong doing it like this. So um, I shown it here, uh, which is the weapons uh, where he finished off uh, the, the, the monster of the week, basically. Um, I really like that design of those cannons and always like this big, big blast. Um, 
kind of fun to see on the show and so um, if you have that the I hope I can get that with less noise sorry if I do too much uh, basically you divide this in three pieces here's a little piece which snaps out on each of those and it's just too big for and you have them like, like this um, the turntable is kind of in the way you have kind of like a truck or train ish thing where he's like this and here's here are two holes in there so the cannons they basically don't, don't crash on me they and they just go in here they slot in very loudly sorry so that's that's the other way where basically this this sword arrives this way um, in the show it's like flaps open up swords go out mega sword is built and good that's the way he's shown and he when when the swords are out he did the parts fly on top and he's in his high mode and then he's shown again when the Zords fires and gives the cannons and boom and that's basically this this gigantic enormous Zord. Um, I was lucky to get it back in the day. Uh, nowadays this, this guy is expensive. Uh, he's like 200 something. Um, he's a big brick as all Zords at, at some point. Um, he doesn't do much but I like the aesthetics of it. Oh, also this this is like this is he comes with the cockpit here, basically where the Rangers and the Phantom Ranger is in, where you just this this goes up, then just slides up and good to actually form the the head of the sword. Of, so um, uh, yeah, do you need it? I don't know if you have not enough room. This is basically a skip which you can have if you're a completionist like me I would say get it because we have some carrier swords but over time with newer seasons carrier swords are not that often around anymore which is sad if you ask me but other ways there's like a lot of effort and a lot of resources going into making this and even back in the day this was expensive so getting a huge toy like this you have to see it from like a company point of standard uh, uh, like position or stand where companies like hmm that has to sell somehow you know i i can understand that because most toys you get out nowadays are really much cheap and i i miss the quality of those back back there pyramides and stuff the chromey parts and everything your toys basically don't look that good anymore, except you have a collector's grade item. Normal toys, I really sound old now, but uh, back in the day when I was a young child and young adult, toys look way better than now. The quality of this plastic and uh, it, it was more sturdy and now everything feels like, like not really nice, not really, it, it's like cheap. It's, Plastic looks cheap, feels cheap, breaks fast. I have two kids on my own and I see it on their toys. Most of their toys, even we will buy some stuff which is supposed to be higher quality, breaks easy, which is sad. So, but enough blaming about um, old toys, new toys and breaking stuff. <laughs> that happened too much in this recording session I did today. Uh, this is the last installment of uh, Power Rangers Turbo. We concluded this at this point with Retro Resort Review. And next time we will go there where no ranger has been going before. That will be space. So we will uh, start out with the Astro Megazord from Power Rangers in Space. So see you in the next one. Stay safe. <laughs>